Welcome back, everyone. I am Tian Eagle. This is episode 7 of our Cardiff City career mode. And if you remember the last episode, we were talking about maybe switching up the formation a little bit. And I think that's something that we have gone ahead and done. We've kind of went into, and it says 4-4-2, but it is more like the traditional 4-2-2-2 uh, two, 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 uh, that you would see in like the uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. And what we've done, we've moved uh, Dali and Noon into the uh, left and right positions there. And we've put Kone up front with uh, Cameron Jones, and hopefully that will just give him a little bit of support up there, and, and uh, he'll be able to make a little bit more of an impact. He started to do okay in the last couple of matches, so hopefully we can continue that. And our first game will be against Fulham. So uh, and remember, if you're enjoying the series, guys, please remember to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it does help me uh, see that you are enjoying the content. And we always enjoy seeing the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at b 12 tn Eagle. And we'll kind of get going here in the 15th minute uh, with a goal from our opponent. So... Very poor defense, which has really been uh, pretty much the theme of the season here once we get back there. You know, my back four is just, uh, we can't stop anybody if they get back there. But here, Craig Noon busts through, about to take a shot, but he does get taken down. So uh, that will be a penalty on Fulham and also a uh, free add-on gift of a red card. So uh, Fulham is now down to 10 men. Uh, they do still have the 1-0 advantage, but... Uh, you know, you can't argue with this. You don't you don't slide in the box. So you can't really say that was uh, not a deserved penalty uh, nor a red card. So we will step up with uh, Mr. Kenwin Jones and see if we can knock this one in past the keeper to bring us even at one apiece. And Kenwin will step up and knock that one in to the right side. And the keeper actually does the correct way, but... He was able to get the ball past him, so uh, maybe a little fortunate there, but we were able to knock that one in, and you can see again here on the replay, a very good job by the keeper, but he went low, and Kevin went high, uh, so we were able to get that one in, and then here, some pretty nice work from our right back, Fabio, but then he gets it knocked away, uh, Daly will pick that one up, try to send it in, and uh, unfortunately not able to get that, but the rebound goes right back to Daly, and he will knock that one in in the 50th minute to put us up 2-1. So not a lot of action in the first half, um, even with Fulham going down fairly early in the game to 10 men. But uh, you can see here we just get really fortunate with the rebound that goes right back to Daly. And he's able to put that away with a pretty nice finesse shot that just goes right under the keeper. And we will look at that a couple more times on the replay. A pretty nice shot. Uh, and that's a lot of uh, weird looking characters in that name. So we'll just call him Daly. But uh, it does put us up 2-1. And then here we'll get a nice breakaway with the speedster Kone. He's going to move it around to the side, take the shot, and it hits the post. Unable to follow up. And it was just so frustrating. He really got in there, made a nice move, and I really thought it was just going to be a pretty simple goal. But here, Kevin Jones, in his 60th minute, he will send it ahead again. Kone will get past another defender, and we'll just tap this one in. Uh, no, and, and we missed again. Um, but he's fast. I mean, that's that's good, right? You know, it's always good to be fast. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Those couple finishes were pretty bad. We hear Kenwin Jones in the 78th minute. He will get up, and he will he'll miss that too. So we're getting some really good opportunities with this formation, and we're also getting some very poor finishing attempts. Uh, and then here, we'll hit the post. The ball will come off. It will hit the keeper, and the keeper will knock that in for us. He's obviously noticed that. We're struggling getting the ball into the net, uh, but that goal did not count because that would be a penalty. As you saw in the replay, and I, I don't know, it all happened so quick. I didn't really know what happened, but either way, you know, the ball had gone in, so it was a goal. So I didn't feel that poorly about it, uh, and this Kevin Jones would just stop and knock it in. But, uh, you know, it was either going to be an own goal or a penalty, so I guess we'll take the penalty and, and add another goal to Kevin Jones. But uh, I don't know, that was just kind of a weird uh, series of events there. Uh, because, you know, again, with the, the cross, I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't remember seeing a whole lot there where the defender jumped into me. But he did. We'll take it. And we will get out of there with a very nice 3-2-1 victory. And we will pick up the, the much-needed three points at this point in the season. Uh, but you can see there, nine shots, seven on target, uh, which kind of surprised me. It just seemed like everything I was hitting was going, uh, you know, outside of the post. But... Uh, we will take it there, and our pass accuracy, not that good at 75%, and obviously our possession is way down, so 
those are things that we need to definitely start working on as we uh, as we progress in the season. But I would say all in all, out of our first game in that new formation, I'm pretty pleased. It seemed like we got a lot of very good opportunities. Uh, again, you know, we didn't we didn't capitalize on them, but it seemed like we got a lot of good ones. And then you'll see we get an email here uh, from the Carter City Board that they wanted to reach out and inform us that despite the concern around the performance of the football club, you shall be con you shall continue to be at the helm of the club for the foreseeable future. Well, I didn't know anything about all that, but apparently the media is out for my head. But we're not doing that poorly. You know, I think we've only, we've only lost one game. We we have a ton of draws. You know, we're like we're like the Arsenal this year. But uh, I don't know. It's uh, the the board is backing me up, and that's all that matters. So we're gonna jump into the next game against Millwall and see what we can do against them. And then here, right off the bat, uh, we'll get Kenwin Jones inside. He's gonna take a nice move and a very nice shot to get that one past the keeper in the twenty second minute. And that was kind of the finishing that we were lacking in the last game, but. Uh, that's a, some pretty nice dribbling there from Kenwood Jones, but what a shot. I mean, just to go near post, really uh, no space in there, but when you hit it that hard, the keeper is going to be unable to do anything. But then here, uh, just a couple minutes later, look at this shot from uh, the AI. And Millwall was able to knock that one in and just a beautiful one-two pass. And I don't know. I, you can't say anything about that. I mean, if the guy's going to knock that in, then... Uh, you know, you tip your cap and you move on. That was just a heck of a shot there. Uh, but you can see there's the one pass. He's going to send it back to him and just, uh, you know, on the one-time shot, uh, Bailey's able to knock that one in. So, well done. Uh, kudos to him. And then we're like, well, heck, if that works, we'll try it too. But it doesn't work for us. So, we couldn't do that. Um, but we're still uh, squared up at one apiece. And uh, this is right before halftime. So, Kenwin Jones kind of, uh, you know, dribbling around a little bit. But, boom. We'll cut inside with a nice body feint, and then he's going to go near post again. Near post OP, so Kevin Jones uh, kind of on fire the last couple games. Even though the last game was uh, a couple penalties, uh, it looks like we're able to get uh, two more in this game. So he's now starting to rack up some of the goals that we were hoping he would uh, that he would produce for us early in the season. So, uh, you know, we're going to take that so far into halftime and hopefully be able to hang on to that. But you can see some of the scores from around the grounds. Um, again, though, you know, possession a little bit better in the last game uh, here in the first half of 47%. The pass accuracy a little bit better, but I, I really want to see the pass accuracy up above, you know, 85, to be quite honest. But I just don't have the people that uh, that can do that. But Kevin Jones here on a free kick, pretty poor attempt, to be quite honest with you. And uh, that was never going to go in. But uh, here, Kone, he'll make some nice moves inside. And he's going to try to go near post, and he's... He did, he's not able to do that, but he saw Kevin do it. He's like, well, I'll try that too. Uh, but it actually, it wasn't even close. So, uh, But it was at least a nice opportunity for him. But then here in the 80th minute, we'll get some nice passing going from Coney to Kevin Jones. Over to Ducati and to Craig Noon. And he will knock that one in. And quite honestly, uh, the pass from Kevin was supposed to go directly to uh, Craig Noon. It did not, uh, but still worked. To our advantage and uh, a very nice one-time shot uh, with the left foot from Craig Noon. So he's able to knock that one in to give us a 3-1 advantage. And that is how the game would stand up. So uh, a couple games that didn't look all that good at first uh, ended up being uh, three points in both of those games. So we will take them uh, both in 3-1 scores. And that will wrap it up for this episode, guys. I will talk to you next time. Have a good one.